Today, I have spectacular news. Apparently, there has been some person, somebody who's like a big shot professor, and they have designed a woman's bra that can double as a gas mask in case of nuclear warfare, some shit manages to go down. So if something happens, it's like, oh my god, the air's poisoned. Ladies, remove your bras. It, and it just makes me wonder, why didn't we think of this beforehand? And it shows the doctor or whoever holding up like two sides of a bra, and it's like a, it's a beautiful, you know, pink color. And you know what? Each cup is its own air filter. So each woman can have, you know, two different airbags for two different people and save two lives. How convenient. And I'm just thinking, that is brilliant. Like, is, is this going to be, like, available for everybody or just... I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting that we have that kind of technology that it, it's a bra and yet it's also going to filter our air in case of nuclear fallout. The fact that one bra can substitute as two gas masks amuses me because here is, and I quote... It will also make men appreciate the fact that women have two breasts. At least the average woman should have two breasts. There's a link in the side where if you want to read the rest of that, I think it's actually pretty interesting considering that she got like an award for this little spoof invention. Yesterday I had sushi and it was awesome. The food of the gods. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just get a text message. If God were to eat fancy, he would eat sushi. It was awesome! You probably don't know this, but back when me, Dominic, and Stephanie were STDs, we were just always hanging out, and our idea of like a fun time was just go out and eat bamboo panda, which seems kind of sad now that I think about it, but it's like, dude, that's all we did. Hang out, we just hung out and just like ate a lot. I can't tell you how much Taco Bell and you know, bamboo panda we consumed like in one year. I had sushi yesterday, and it was just awesome like it cost like 30 bucks for two rolls but it was totally worth it i don't care who you are sushi is awesome and just because i feel like i should probably talk about it since it's like a big issue not as big as it was like 400 years ago but still it's still fairly big you know people always talk to me about like religion honestly i don't really care what you as a person believe like i think it's more about the person like, we've all had their experience with Jehovah's Witnesses or in Fairbanks Bible Baptist. When they come knocking to your door and you're like, shh, pretend we're not home. Long us turn down the TV. And you just pretend like you're not home. Because you don't want to be try to be forced into another religion. That's just unnecessary, in my opinion. It's like, it's like dude, if you, don't, if you don't believe in God or if you're agnostic, I don't really care. As long as you just don't, like, you know bash me for my religion, or, you know, if you're a Christian or a Catholic or whatever, you know, you believe in some higher deity, I don't really care as long as you're a cool person, and don't start, you know, getting all up in my grill about, like, what, you don't believe in Jesus? He's my homeboy. He, he should be your homeboy, too. It's like, uh, you know, I just, I, I don't think, that, I don't believe that we should, you know, judge people by what they, you know, believe or worship. It just seems kind of stupid, in my opinion. Like, I went to see, talk to that one guy talk, and like he said, you know, I don't know, he says that, you know, he doesn't see, you know, one Indian group going to another Indian group saying, you're praying the wrong way, or, you know, it just seems kind of rude, <laughs> honestly. And I don't mean to bitch, like, everybody bitches now and then, it's just that, I don't know, I've had a lot of bad experiences with Christians and Catholics alike, even Satanists or whatever. Sure, I read the Bible, and yes, I do actually like the stories that include Lucifer and anything very devilish and dark. That's just because I think it's a little more cool and interesting. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Just, I have nothing else really to say. I'm hungry. I'm going to go do me some laundry. So I got some more clean clothes to show people, because I don't know why I even do this anymore. But yeah, I'm DJ Cha-Ching, and I'm going to go check my laundry. Can I get an amen from the church choir?